up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a pen holder. Hello and welcome back everyone. Today's crazy and exciting project is the overd engineered pen holder which is constructed mostly from PCBs and some 3D printed parts. The concept of this story was that after using a mug as a pen holder for some years, it was time for an upgrade, an over engineered upgrade. I utilized four square PCBs and a few 3D printed components to create a new pen holder. Three PCBs are only here for aesthetic purposes, but the one on the back side of this device has a power management IC that is being used to operate any 5 volt device such as an Arduino board or even charge a smartphone. It also have a few red LEDs that lights up the entire system and make it appear like a lamp in the dark. A 3D printed pen holder would be easy to make, but what's the fun in that? This pen holder's over-engineered design and built-in battery which boost its usability and visual appeal, which in my opinion make it far superior to a pen holder that is entirely 3D printed. This video is about how this project was built, so let's get started. <laughs> The foundation of this entire project is a straightforward model made of two pieces that holds four 95mm by 95mm PCBs from the top and the bottom side. The internal holders have two holes on each side and the PCB is attached to the holder via screws. The back side PCB will hold the circuitry and the cells that will power the USB ports and LEDs. While the front, left and right side would remain empty and have aesthetic features added to make them appear attractive. Two board constitute the PCB design. One is designed for the front, left and right side and the other is for back which houses all the electronic component. We begin by creating the schematic for the back PCB which houses the IP5303 IC, a power management IC with a 3.7 volt input and a reliable 5 volt output that can be used to power a variety of 5 volt operated devices. I have used this IC in many of my previous projects which you can check out on my channel. The IP5303 IC is placed first in the schematic along with a few capacitor between charging in and ground on the input side and a few between 5 volt pin and ground on the output side. Additionally, 14 LEDs are arranged in parallel and then connected to a switch and a 5 volt supply in series to control the LEDs. After creating the schematic, I then use the 3D model's dimension to create basic PCB layout. The USB port was positioned on the top side. The USB micro port was positioned on the left side and the lithium cell holder was positioned at the bottom. The LEDs were positioned on the board's bottom layer, so they would glow inside the pen holder. All of the board's base component were removed from the aesthetic boards, keeping only the outline. I applied a line pattern to the board's top edge layer and removed the solder mask opening from that area to make the entire line pattern silver and shiny. In order to allow light from the inside to enter through the FR4 board and create a lovely shining effect, the solder mask was also removed from the bottom side. After I completed the PCB, I generated the Garba data which was sent to PCB Way for samples. One order was placed for aesthetic board and other was placed for the base board. The order for aesthetic board was placed with the black solder mask and white silk screen. The color here is irrelevant in this case because the board has solder mask opening on both top and bottom layer that were intended to let the light pass through them. Since white solder mask generally look really awesome, base board order was placed for white solder mask and black silk screen. I received the PCBs within a week and they were excellent as expected. I love the quality of PCBs made by PCBWay. There are other manufacturers available but PCBWay service is always on another level. Check out PCBWay for getting great PCB service at a less cost. The first step is to apply solder paste to each component pad. 
We then use an ESD tweezer to carefully pick and place all the SMD components in their assigned place one by one. Next, we carefully lifted the whole circuit board and place it on my DIY SMT hot plate, which is also homemade just like this project. Do check it out. All of the components will be soldered using the hot plate reflow process after a short while. Once the hot plate reaches the temperature at which the solder paste is melting. After the reflow, we add remaining THC components which are on and off switch, USB micro port button and USB port. At last we solder each component pad by using a regular soldering iron. The final step in this board assembly is the addition of 5mm LEDs. While the red LEDs were utilized in this case, any LED can be used. We first put the LEDs in their place and then bend their leg so we can solder them. Using a standard soldering iron and solder wire, we then solder LEDs in their place. Finally, we use a cutter to cut their leads and the board assembly is finally finished. Here's the end result of the PCB assembly process. A base board or bottom side board which contain all the electronics parts including the SMD IC, all the THT parts such as USB port and red LEDs. The SMD holder is then fitted with a 3.7 volt 2600 mAh lithium ion cell. The indication LED light up when we press the tactile switch to turn on this setup, indicating that it is functioning. The output voltage across the USB port is then measured. If it's 5.1 volt, the IP5303 IC is working. After that, we turn on the red LEDs by pressing on and off switch. We finish by including a shower development board with an embedded RGB LED to 5 volt USB port. And it works. The board assembly works, which means we can proceed to the next step, which is the assembly of the pen holder. Here are the 3D printed parts that we will be used in the next process, which is the pen holder assembly. The components serve as both support and holder for the PCBs, which can be attached to them using screws that are put through holes in them. The top holder only serves to hold the PCBs together, while the bottom holder has a foundation or net that serve as a bottom lid for the pen stand. These parts were both printed using orange PLA with a 0.2 mm layer height, 20% infill and 0.4 mm nozzle. The assembly of pen holder is quite easy. Using four M2 screws, we first tighten the back PCB to the 3D printed PCB holders. Next, using 12 additional M2 screws, four for each side, we attach the final three aesthetic PCBs to the front, left and right side of the device and the pen holder assembly is completed. Here is the final result of this crazy build. A pen holder created entirely out of PCBs. This project tests the limit of using PCB as a material. Typically, PCBs are used for the circuit board for XYZ component devices. But FR4 is a structurally sound material that can be used to prepare body for some devices as well. In this case, PCBs were used for creating the circuit and the body, which is amazing. This project is finished and you can create your own using the attached file, which are in the projects page. Link is in video description. Overall, this was a worthwhile project that was far better than any pen holder I was previously using. Far better than this mug. Thanks for getting this far. Please leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. Do check them out for getting great PCB service at a less cost. Thanks again and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.